What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you to the October 2024 edition of Let's Talk. And I'm going to try to make this as brief as I possibly can, because honestly, I really should not be recording right now. I am in between doses of codeine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on narcotics right now. Why am I doing this? I, I have to do this. I have to do this right now because I screwed myself over and I've had so many issues these this past about month and a half uh, in regards to a whole bunch of various things. I'll go over in a second. And if I don't do this now, I'm not going to have a chance to get a Let's Talk out this month at all. And I really don't want that to happen because this month and next month's Let's Talks will be the last of the year, just like what I did last year, uh, where I didn't put one out in December or January. I'm going to be doing that again this time around, so I really don't want you guys to miss any more updates, but I already recorded a Let's Talk before I had surgery, and that's why I'm on coding right now, um, and it ended up just being a total disaster and ended up being like 20 minutes longer than it needed to be, and I was like, okay, I'm going to get to re-recording it. That didn't happen. Then the surgery happened, and now I have found this beautiful opportunity where I am teetering on the edge of sobriety right now, uh, just long enough where my face doesn't feel like it's going to explode, and I'm also able to coherently put, or at least somewhat coherently, put sentences together. So yeah, that's why you're getting this Let's Talk in this state. Um, okay, let's be quick about this. First things first, last month and a half. <sighs> September, I got sick. Luckily, I got that Let's Talk out early because I was sick for almost the entirety of the month really set me back a lot. Like, there was a bunch of stuff I was supposed to get done during September. I was supposed to get Eco done. I was already supposed to be back on Animal Crossing by this point. I was supposed to have a whole bunch of Destiny stuff uh, for when Eco's over uh, put together afterwards, and none of that happened. None of that happened because of the sickness. I ended up having to just kind of focus on variety stuff so you guys could get all that, which I'm still behind on, by the way. I'm recording this on Wednesday. And I still don't have this week's Dead Space episode done. <laughs> Although, I don't, we're, I'm not worried about spoiling that because you guys should be getting the Let's Talk the day after. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get Dead Space done uh, tomorrow. But, you know, just, you know, apart from being sick, there was also this whole surgery thing. And I'm not going to really talk about the details of the surgery. I will say I knew it was coming for a very long time. Um, but I was hoping to push it out until there was a bit of a dead period in my life, which usually happens around February and March, kind of when winter really sets in. That's when I was hoping to get that done, but something happened where I ended up having to expedite the process, and uh, it went from being four or five months away to two, three weeks away. And yeah, that messed up things even more. But on top of everything else, once I finally did start to find the time to get a bunch of stuff recorded, I lost all of the footage because it turns out that this hard drive that I bought, what was it, in April or, or like March of this year, it's a brand new four terabyte solid state drive that I had bought, uh, is already failing on me, already failing on me for a variety of reasons. And I've, I've somewhat remedied the problem, at least enough, but to the, I still can't trust the thing, so it's usable. But it also has messed up so many things for me. If you caught in any of the videos for the past couple of months, uh, the videos skipped at times. And I would usually, I usually caught it in editing. I, I think I always caught it in editing. And then I would like post a thing about how that happened and try to edit it to make it as unnoticeable as possible. Because I never noticed it while I was recording. It's not something I would find out until the editing happened. Well, that was because of that hard drive. That's why this was all happening. It was good to finally diagnose the problem. I was not happy about diagnosing the problem literally as I was done recording my first playthrough of Eco. That was annoying. <laughs> so now I have to re-record the entire game again because the problem cropped up in such a way that I lost all of it. It didn't just like cause some of the video to skip. It went, nope, we can't save your video file. You're screwed. And then just completely, yeah, everything got deleted. So that sucked. And... Uh, Luckily, I've backed everything up that's existing right now, so nothing else should be in danger. Um, I believe I've gone through all of the skips that would be in all of my current recording stuff, except maybe Destiny stuff, but I don't think there's going to be any issues with Destiny because I'm pretty sure I recorded all of that before I even started using this hard drive, so we should be fine in that regard. Either way, I've basically gone six weeks now where I haven't been able to do anything but edit, uh, and I've mostly just been editing Pokemon Platinum, a uh, little bit of Destiny here and there, and then 
you know, just recording the variety stuff. Like that Scooby Doo episode is the only thing I've been able to actually record and get done for a while now. And that's frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. But once I am off these pain pills and I am able to uh, do what I need to do again, probably starting next week um, or even this weekend, the weekend this goes up, I am going to be going all in on recording for a very long time. We are going to be pretty much back to uh, early this year when it comes to workaholism where I am going to be getting eco done immediately as soon as possible and then it's right into Animal Crossing and I am not going to finish that let's play I'm not going to stop with that let's play until it is done even if it takes me like two months to get to that point that is where I'm at I'm going to be at then the only other thing I'm going to have to worry about in the middle is like variety stuff so like ne next month spotlight uh, and also uh, memory vault game as well as uh uh, just the Destiny stuff when that returns. Everything else should be good to go for a very long time. Pokemon Platinum is going to be going well into next year. Banjo-Kazooie doesn't end until December. Uh, Destiny, obviously, I have all of this stuff recorded for it. So as soon as Eco's done, we're just back on that train for a very long time. Although, I'm... St <sighs> you know, and I, I this is one something I actually talked about in that update video that I ended up canning. I was very tempted to start another quick Let's Play, kind of in between, just to make the delay between Destiny a little bit longer, but I'm still so back and forth on my Destiny Let's Play at the moment about where I'm wanting to continue and or end everything, because right now I am so 50-50 on the idea of continuing past Final Shape or just ending it there and being done with the Let's Play for at least until we get, or if we ever get, a Destiny 3. Um, I'm so on the fence right now with that that I'm I it's hard for me to make an executive decision I don't because that's the thing is like if I'm gonna go beyond the final shape I really don't want you guys to have non-stop destiny for like two more years I would like to have more things to kind of break that up in the middle so I don't know I, I, I regardless the plan was originally to do another like five to ten maybe even 15 episode let's play kind of right after eco before we get back into destiny but i don't know if that's going to even be possible now just because of how far behind i've fallen on things um i might discuss it a little bit more next month we will see if that is still a possibility but right now i am buckling down i am looking towards the end of the year because that's pretty much everything that's in my sights i'm not even worried about next year's stuff it's Eco and Animal Crossing. That is my focus right now. And uh, real quick, uh, speaking about that, I hope you guys like the sudden change in variety games that I had planned for this month. I wanted to go with something a little more spooky, something that fits the season a little bit more. That is obviously very easy to do with Halloween, much more so than pretty much any other holiday. So figured I could throw some spooky games at you guys. Wanted to lead off the month with one that's a bit more silly. And then we're going to be spending the rest of the month on a spotlight game that is obviously a lot more terrifying but i mean not like the most terrifying thing in the world either it's dead space but i'm going to specifically be playing the dead space remake and the main reason that i wanted to do scooby-doo in the first week wasn't actually a tone thing it was the fact that sony themselves are giving out the dead space remake on playstation plus this month so i'm like I'm just going to take that opportunity, wait for them to unlock it, and then I will worry about downloading it and playing it. So that is the plan. Yeah, I have never played Dead Space before. Well, that's not true. I've played Dead Space 3, but only about the first third of it. I have never played the first two Dead Space games and would really like to finally give them a try because that is another classic game series that has been sitting in my review mirror for a very long time. So as far as Donkey Kong 64 is concerned, which was the forsaken variety video of last month um that is a hundred percent happening in november i promise you i just wanted to push it out a little bit longer because i liked the idea of having the motif of spooky month uh with the variety stuff in october all right i think that's everything i wanted to say as far as current series are concerned two more topics before this let's talk is done and over with uh both of which pertain to the end of the year going into next year uh obviously no spoilers for 2025 or anything but first things first, channel branding. Okay, I have wanted to make a more concrete uh, visual change to the channel's art style for a while now, many, many years now. And I've always had this idea in the back of my head of what I want to do. Now, 
informally, I am actually, for anyone listening to this, if you or you know anybody who is a, preferably a cartoon aesthetic focused artist, I am putting out a call for anyone that is willing to take commissions uh, for something I have in mind for the channel. Obviously, this is not my primary idea as to where I'm going to be able to get this done. I am looking towards a bunch of other places, and I am willing to pay very handsomely for this. All I am asking for is a change to the profile picture and the banner. Everything else I'm going to be doing myself. In fact, I'm probably going to even make the profile picture and the banner kind of the same thing. The banner will just be more of an expanded version of the profile picture. Uh, so it'll probably just be one big image uh, that I, again, am willing to pay very handsomely for. Um, obviously, I'm not like I'm not about to tell you that I know exactly what everybody's rates are or anything, but I can probably promise that I would be willing to go well over anyone's rates uh, for a certain level of quality, obviously. Um, but the point of it is, is to say that I really want to like give this channel a little bit more of a unique identity, uh, which I've done a couple of times in the past. So every profile picture on this channel outside of the very original one that I used when I first started the channel has been a commission from either a friend or somebody I've known on social media in some way or another. Um, I've gotten two from the same friend, one from a Twitter user back when I still used that, which I haven't used that website in years, and then one from a Tumblr user. Uh, the current one is the second commission I got from that friend, and it's actually a very old image. Uh, I was actually using it probably three profile pictures ago, and then I, I've li I like it so much, and I feel like it's lasted the test of time for what I want. Uh, the most that I ended up just kind of remaking it with the same picture again. I literally just, because originally it was facing left to right, and I used that back when YouTube had more square profile pictures. I, I made a certain design around that. Then I changed over, then I changed over again, and now I've literally just flipped it the other way and tried to restylize the text, and that's it. That's all that's changed about the current one. Now I'm focused on something that's got a lot more expression to it, which this the current one has some good expression to it. It does, but it's not exactly the the mood or the feel that I kind of want to get or for people to get when they come to this channel. So I, again, I have an idea in mind. Want to make this happen? If anyone watching this knows anybody, feel free to uh, email me to contact me. I have all my information here on the channel itself. You just go to the channel and it should tell you where to send your emails to. Or you can contact me through Discord. That is another way to do it. That's also freely available on the channel under the contact information. Uh, but otherwise, I know some avenues that I'm going to be checking on. And eventually, I'm going to ho hopefully put all this together. And I'm shooting for the end of the year. There's a possibility it might not be until around January. But still, that is the goal, is to get that done. And uh, hopefully, the channel just gets a nice little makeover. As far as everything else is concerned, thumbnails and all that stuff. I'm probably not going to be changing much of that, uh, at least not yet, not unless I start incorporating other series and whatnot. Um, as far as all that stuff is concerned, I don't know if anybody knows this, but I'd just like to, to iterate this one more time. All of the graphics that are done on this channel are my doing. I have It's all self-taught stuff I do in Photoshop. I'm not saying it's all impressive. It's just the stuff that I have learned over the years of running this channel. Um, it's all just so much easier that way if I were to ever try to pay anybody to do any of these very menial things. Uh, it would honestly just break my bank, is what it would do. Uh, the one thing I cannot do is draw. I'm terrible at drawing. I can do pretty much everything else to a remedial degree, but the drawing part, absolutely not happening. So that's where I usually need to stump up the money and ask people to help me out. So that is kind of a call for it, but it is also just me saying, hey, look forward to some changes here in the next few months. The last thing I want to discuss today is the end of the year video. So I have been very inconsistent these past few years uh, when it comes to the end of the year video. Last year it was the recap video. The year before that it was the favorite games that we looked at in 2022. Before that it was favorite games period and it, I, I change it all the freaking time. I, I always try to make something special for the end of the year to just sort of encapsulate everything in some way, shape, or form. I am not going to be doing that this year. Uh, 2024 actually marks the 10th anniversary of this one time on the channel where I decided to make two videos, and technically it was in August of that year, but in 2014 I made two videos uh, that made up my top 
20 favorite video games of all time list. And again, this is as of 2014. Uh, it was just a two-parter. Went over the 20 games. I don't even think I went over any honorable mentions or anything. But I tried to do it in a very standard, almost like watch mojo format of just going through uh, 20 different games and saying why I like them and trying to justify why they were in my rankings. But it was very much a product of that time, of where my headspace was as far as video games back then. So I made that when I was 21 years old. I am now 31. A lot has changed in 10 years. And while, yes, there is absolutely still some overlap, I would very much like to give that another go. Probably not the last go I will ever give it, but certainly the last one for a very long time, hopefully for at least another 10 years. So this time, we are going to be looking at the top 20 video games of all time, in my opinion, my top 20 favorite video games. Um, and it's going to be a four-parter this time as opposed to a two-parter. The reason why is because I'm going to try to be a lot more in-depth in my discussion and framing of each of these games as we go through. I'm also going to include a whole host of honorable mentions along the way, although that's going to be a little bit... Uh, much more of a quick fire reveal than anything else. I'll try to do it in a format that makes sense. But I want to spend a lot more time because I've, I still have the script uh, saved in my Google Docs for that original top 20 video. And every single entry was like a paragraph. It was no more than like maybe a dozen sentences per, may, maybe 15 sentences per entry on the list. Two, three minutes tops of talking about each one and then moving on to the next one. This time around, while not quite going for full review status, I want to give each of these games a bit more of a do. Pretty much double the amount of time I talk about them, if not triple the time I talk about each one of them so that they, I, I can hopefully fully convey why these games are my favorite of all time. I'm going to put up some stipulations and whatnot just to make it a little bit more interesting, obviously because I don't want to put too many games from like the same franchise in there because that would probably get really boring for people. I mean, just as an example, uh, I love Pokemon. If five of the entries of this top 20 were all different main series Pokemon games, I think people would get really frustrated. Not that that's what's going to happen or would happen. I'm just using that as an example. This is why I'm going to put some stipulations up. So I'm hoping to have that out all at the end of the year. It'll kind of be in the last days leading up to the new year. What I'll probably do is like the first video on the 30th, the set, or sorry, on the 29th, second on the 30th, third video on New Year's Eve, and then the fourth video on New Year's Day, or something to that effect. And then we'll obviously still get our 2025 preview video uh, once that time comes around. I'll talk about that one a little bit more in next month's Let's Talk. But uh, yeah, I think that actually covers everything I wanted to go over in this Let's Talk. No major news besides just the fact that everything has been sabotaged this last month and a half and that my face hurts. In fact, it hurts so much right now, I'm going to shut this off and go have some more drugs. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this one very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.